Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Kelton with Under Pressure Power Watcher Services. Do me a favor, like, subscribe, hit that bell icon so you get notifications when I upload a new video. So, what is a CRM, and am I losing money if I don't have one? So, short, sweet answer is a CRM is a customer relationship management software, and yes, you're probably losing money if you are a owner slash operator and you're not using a CRM because a CRM is probably the most underutilized uh, software for the majority of small businesses. People who don't know about the benefits of having a CRM really are losing money not having it. I know a lot of guys don't want to dive in and they don't want to buy one or they don't want to pay for one because they feel like it's just an unnecessary expense. But in the long run, you really are. Like, you're going to lose money if you're not investing in using a good CRM and if you're not investing the time to figure out how to use that CRM. So, the CRM that I'm currently using is called the Customer Factor. It's, it's great. Um, I know a lot of people are kind of back and forth on the Customer Factor, but from what I hear, a lot of people are back and forth on, like, any CRM because the thing is, is it has so many capabilities, it's not very cut and dry. Okay? It's, it's going to take time for you to figure it out. The thing is, it's going to take time for you to figure out how to be a business owner. It's going to take time for you to figure out how to do human resources. It's going to take time for you to figure out how to be a technician. You didn't learn this stuff overnight. You're not going to learn how to use your CRM overnight. So you really want to take the time and like just dedicate you know, at least an hour or so uh, here and there to just kind of really work on breaking down all the capabilities that your CRM has. So, like I said, I use the customer factor, and what the customer factor does for me is it allows me to get all my customer information. So I can get all my prospects information, all my customers information, I can log it into my CRM. That way I always have it. I never lose that information. Okay? Always there for me to call back on, and then if I convert that prospect over to a customer, then I've got it. I can actually go back and look and see what their previous job history was. That way I'm not trying to give them some off-the-wall number. Um, and even with the prospects, too. You know, I just had two ladies that hit me up uh, for cleaning their home. They actually accepted six and eight months after I gave them their quotes because I was using my CRM to uh, send out customer relationship emails, like just the, uh, so they call them like customer lifecycle emails. You know, granted, these were not customers of mine yet, they were only prospects. I gave them their quotes, they didn't accept them immediately, but I kept in touch with them through emails. I automated emails that were just doing a series of drip emails, and we kept contacting these customers, you know, just kind of periodically over time, you know, even if it was just like a you know, uh, Happy Thanksgiving, and then, you know, a Merry Christmas email, just short little things, and then anytime I did, like, a service update, I added new services to the company, I would send trip emails along with that, and that would notify them as long as they uh, were still subscribed to the email. They can't unsubscribe from it. As long as they were still subscribed to the email, they continue to get those emails. So... Here I am, I did a lot of work up front to set up those drip emails, and then I just forgot about it. I just left it alone and let it do its thing. So it would constantly just send them repeat emails. So I just had, like I said, I had the lady six months ago. She actually called me, accepted the quote, actually added more stuff onto it, but I was able to recall the quote exactly uh, because I had it all saved. So I never, I never delete uh, customer information, and I absolutely never delete prospect information too. So I know that's kind of typical. A lot of guys will want to do that, where they get a prospect information. They'll give them a quote. The person says, "Oh, you're too expensive. You know, I'm gonna go with somebody else." That's fine. Let them do it. Okay. But don't write them off. Don't write them off. Don't delete that contact information. Hang on to that. That's gonna be key because. You keep reaching out to that customer because what's going to happen is the person that they chose may not reach back out. Okay, so you've got their information already. Hang on to it. You might be able to pick them up as a customer later on in the future. And that's what happened with these, uh, these two ladies. 
is I give them a quote, six months will buy, eight months will buy. They both finally reached back out to me and were like, hey, we're ready. We decided that yes, we do want to use you. Um, you know, Billy Bob didn't work out or he never showed up. We want to use you to come and do the service. So, and then like I said, with them, with me having that information stored whenever they asked, they're like, well, what was my quote again? I can't really remember. Okay, cool, here it is. It's, it was this for your, your basic package, your premium package, your full service package. So I was able to spit it off real quick, send them the exact same quote right back to their email, that way they can look at it. And it gives them confidence in YouTube because it shows that you're professional, you kept all the, you retained all the information, and you're not just spitballing them another answer because the thing is, is what if that customer actually kept that uh, previous estimate and now that they're ready and they ask you for it again you spitball this number that's like a hundred or two hundred dollars more than what you previously gave them it's not going to look good on on your side you know they're really going to be upset by that and they're probably not going to use you so try to be consistent um and a crm actually allows you to do that so the other thing that it does is it allows you to get that information. It allows you to send out your estimates. It will allow you to schedule those appointments. So it keeps everything simple. It keeps everything on basically on one format. So you can uh, have your calendar. You can schedule your um, you can schedule your appointments to do the estimate. You can schedule your appointments to do the to do the job after they've accepted. You could have it set up those drip emails like I was talking about. So that way, after you do send the estimate. If you don't follow up within that day, don't worry about it. The CRM will do it for you. So you can actually set it up to where those emails will follow up with that uh, prospect one day after, two days after, seven days after, however many times you want to do it. Um, because people just get busy and they forget. So and then you you get busy and you forget. You know, especially if you're an owner operator, you've got so many things going on. It's hard to kind of. Uh, you collect all your thoughts all the time and remember exactly who you have to call or if you're doing uh if you're actually writing stuff down which i highly recommend that helps but then at the same time if you don't have that notepad or you misplace it or you know you got 12 notepads laying around because you've been writing notes like a madman then it's still it's still kind of hard to remember but having everything on a crm makes it really easy because that crm is going to do that follow-up for you Mine will actually close a lot of those deals for me just through the follow-up that it does. I actually get email responses from my customers talking about how, um, yes, they're ready to do it, or, hey, this is what we're waiting on, you know, and their responses to drip emails, and I don't even know what they're talking about whenever I read the email originally because, it, it, to me, it seems random, but it's not because they're, they're responding to what they thought was an email that I sent them, but, in fact, it was something that my CRM sent them. So I can actually go back and look and see, okay, what did I previously type? You know, what email are they responding to? So I can get an idea of, you know, where they're at and what it is that they're looking at having done. And so we're on the same page. But the beautiful thing about it is that whenever they respond to the email, the drip email stop. So I, I really appreciate that because that makes it to where like you're not just badgering them. Um, it, it can feel like that since you you are setting up so many drip emails. It can kind of feel like you're badgering, but just remember, people are busy. You know, if it doesn't happen after business hours, if they're not getting those emails after business hours when they're home and they finally had a chance to sit down and relax, they're probably not going to remember. Because a lot of times they're probably going to get them while they're at work. They'll look at it real quick, and then all hell breaks loose at work, and they just you're the last thing on their mind. So having those drip emails is a great way to try to secure those those customers and those prospects. Um, your CRM can also allow you to send out your invoices after the job's completed. You can send out your invoices. Uh, what's great about the customer factors invoices is that it actually sets it up to where there's an invoice link. They can click on it. They can, it'll actually take them to a paid portal on your CRM where it allows them to actually put in their information and they can pay right through the CRM. Like you don't even have to worry about calling them or collecting any kind of uh, uh, card information over the phone. They can literally do it all straight from their email. 
So it just makes it super convenient, super uh, super simple, super easy. The more convenient you can make stuff for your customers, the more likely they are to use you again because customers at the end of the day just they want to be confident that you're uh, capable of doing the job and they don't want to be inconvenienced. So if you don't have a CRM, then yes, you probably are losing money because six and eight months ago, I, those people aren't even on my mind anymore. I'm not even thinking about trying to follow up with somebody that long ago. You know, it may come up eventually, but you know, if you have a good client list from your previous year, then yeah, you're probably going to try to call them again um, this year and book them again. If you've been doing it kind of like old school pen, pad, paper, uh, however you've been doing it, but at the same time, if you could have a system that does that for you, why not? The thing is, is they're not expensive. A lot of people just, whatever reason, think that, you know, CRMs are just outlandishly expensive. Uh, it's an unnecessary expense. So I use the customer factor. Um, I believe it's, I believe it's $44.99. So for $44.99 a month, for less than what it would cost me to have a secretary or anything like that, $44, basically $45 a month, I have a virtual secretary that will not only uh, do follow-ups for me, it will help me schedule appointments, it will give me reminders as to where those appointments are, and it will actually allow my customers to uh, pay me, and it will send them reminders, and it will even tack on late fees. If I've set it up to where you know, if it goes past a certain amount of days, it'll tack on my late fee for me, and I don't have to go in and worry about any of that. So, if you're new, if you're, or even if you've been doing it for a while, if you do not have a CRM, you definitely need to get you one. So, Customer Factor is just the one that I use. Um, I I will vouch for it all day long. Um, it is a little wonky. You do have to give it time, but again, like I said, I know a lot of people say that about other CRMs, that they take time. There's just so many capabilities that you really, it's not really trying to set the CRM up to do the things that you want it to do. It's really kind of going in and cutting out the things that you don't want it to do because it's basically set to do just all kind of different options for you. So take a little bit of time up front, learn the CRM that you're using. Um, I'll throw out a couple different ones. I know a lot of guys in the pressure washing industry use. So there's the customer factor. That's what I use. Uh, I know a lot of guys will use uh, Service Monster, Jobber. If you want to look into a free CRM, I believe it's still free. I want to say it was called FreshBooks. Look up FreshBooks. I'm pretty sure it was a free CRM. Now, you know. With that, it's gonna be kind of limited. It's not gonna have all the capabilities. Like you might be limited on like the drip, on the drip emails and follow-up sequences. But it is a good way to kind of get your feet wet if you're trying to figure out exactly what a CRM is capable of doing. It kind of, it'll kind of let you get in it and start doing it. And if you're just curious as to, you know, you, you don't feel like you can afford. The, the little bit of extra money that you're going to spend every month on a CRM, then try that out. Um, don't quote me on it. I'm not sure if that's the right name. I'm pretty sure it is. I looked into it once before, but I'd already committed to the customer factor, but I want to say it was called Fresh Books. Look those up, um, and then just kind of plug and play. See which one. A lot of those guys, like a lot of those CRMs, they'll give you free trials. They can try it out for a month, two months. Um, don't let that time slip by. Get it, try it out, you know, spend a little bit of time, try to work on it, you know, just do some, uh, you can do some actual jobs in there if you want, or just play around and just put in some fake names, fake profiles, create them, and then just put your email on there, so that way you can kind of get a feel for it and see what it's going to be like, you know, from a customer's perspective or a prospect's perspective uh, as to how just kind of how the CRM comes off, how it, presents, how it presents itself. Some of them are very plain Jane, they're very basic. Uh, they'll be very uh, uh, just copy and paste invoice type deals where it's just a single page with like a short description. Um, that is one of the reasons of why I use the customer factor is because it, it has that feature, 
but then it also has what they call the big proposal which is fantastic for especially like commercial work if you're trying to get into commercial work i love the big proposal on the customer factory because it allows you to not only send your proposal but it also allows you to send a copy of your insurance a copy of your license your w9 which is key for a lot of commercial jobs that will let you send your w9 um, and then you can do before and after pictures, you can do reviews, uh, you can do an opening letter or introductory letter, you can do a closing letter. There's so much information that you can put into the big proposal and then it really does, like it kind of helps to sell for you. It's this nice presentation that these people get, um, especially like if you've got some really great before and after pictures, you know, like if it's a prospect who's you spoke to about having some rust removal stuff done put your really good rust removal before and after pictures in your big proposal and then send it over to them and that way like it's just it's exactly what you were telling the customer that you can do and it's like living proof it's right there it's documented they see it it comes off very professional and it's very convincing you know it's going to instill a lot of confidence in you and your ability to not only do the job but how professional you are in the way that you presented your company to this client, uh, to this prospect or potential client. So, if you don't have a CRM, get one as soon as you can. If you want to try out a free one, like I said, I want to say it's called FreshBooks. You can try that out, but I definitely highly recommend it. If you guys do decide you want to go with the customer factory and you've got questions on it, I'm not an expert on it, but I've been using it for about a year now, and I love it. Yeah, I, I really do. Uh, it, it helps me out so much because, you know, when you're an uh, owner-operator, you know, you're just you're wearing so many different hats. You're trying to function and you're trying to juggle so many different things at different times. Having something like that that does all those follow-ups for you just kind of takes one of those hats off. And it just, it just kind of alleviates a lot of stress. And it really does help you close a lot more sales. So look into them. Let me know what you think. As always, you know, do me a favor, like, subscribe, hit that bell icon, um, and then I'll just keep uploading new, new videos for you guys. Uh, but, yeah, that's it. That's all I got for today. I'll keep uploading more content. Y'all have a good one.